I wonder sometimes how I even got into prostitution. It seems like so long ago. It was only two years ago when I met Devin. I didn't know that I was about to experience the entrance into a typical trafficking story in America. I didn't know that he chose me. I didn't know that he was slowly breaking down my moral walls. I didn't know that he was slowly teaching me to sexually exploit myself and to accept bondage. I was so young and naive. Devin was the first person in my life to notice me and give me attention. I was swept off my feet. I had never had a boyfriend before and he was everything to me. I believed that he loved me. So I said I would do anything for him. He told me that it would only be once, that he needed the money. He said that he didn't mind I would be sleeping with someone else because it would be for our future together. I believed him because he loved me, but it was all a lie. He persuaded me to do it only once. I will never forget that first night I sold myself. When I resisted to continue prostituting, he hit me and then he raped me. He told me that I was his queen, but I didn't realize that for him to be a king, I had to continue selling myself to make his money. My mind went crazy when he blamed me for causing him to hit me because of my disloyalty. I hoped that when I agreed to do what he said, the violence would stop, but it never did. He threatened me and then carried out those threats. I was caught between love and terror. The violence stopped for a while when I finally said that I would prostitute myself for him. But it never completely stopped. None of it did. It actually got worse. Devin isolated me from my friends and my family. He psychologically manipulated me to believe that it was all my fault, and I believed him. I told myself, Devin needs the money I owe him. He loves me, and I love him. But I had become a prostitute, and who would love a prostitute? Only a pimp. And so I stayed. I tried making the best out of the situation I was in, and attempted to please Devin through my loyalty. I lost myself. I didn't know who I was. I didn't have hope. I smiled because I was told to and I feared the consequences of ever disobeying. Quota. I was sold by the hour, 10 to 20 johns a day who coerced me with money to do unspeakable things. I couldn't come home until I had his money. Sexual slavery might look different today. Instead of shackles, I wore stilettos. Instead of an auction block, I was sold on the internet. I was, in a way, a hidden slave. But I didn't have a choice in all of it. I told myself I did. But if I didn't do what I was told, Devin would punish me in ways that I can't even describe. 
get out of the life, Devin would have never let me out. I had to bring him $1,800 a day. Ironically, I would see signs about helping trafficked victims, and I thought, those poor girls, not realizing I was one of them. I was terrified of disobeying Devin. He had tortured me in the past and threatened to do worse if I didn't obey. So I submitted. Plus, who would believe me if I said I wanted out? No one would believe me. I was trained by Devin to go to prison for him. He told me that was true loyalty. I convinced myself that selling my body was a choice and had to suffer the consequences alone. The police officer that arrested me actually saved me that day. He contacted a local restorative program for traffic victims. I was stunned to learn that sex trafficking includes prostitution. It honestly didn't make sense to me at first. The thought of being trafficked was so foreign to me. Within that moment, I held on to hope. I hope that I was a victim in all of this, even though it went against everything that I was taught to believe by Devin. I learned that I was a victim of sex trafficking. I learned that I was coerced through a common method among traffickers today. I realized that Devin wasn't just my pimp, but a trafficker and not my lover that he had been watching me and chose me from the very beginning. He used me and never loved me. True love isn't for sale or profit. Trauma therapy taught me to deal with the pains of my past, to see the value of myself and learn my worth is actually priceless. I was devastated to learn that I was caught in a psychological warfare while naively falling in love with a master manipulator.
I shouldn't blame myself for not being prepared to protect myself from a professional tracker. I didn't know what to look for. I learned that only 1% of sex traffic victims are ever rescued. And thanks to the officer, I was rescued through his arrest. I will fight to thrive as a sex traffic survivor. And I will survive. I am a survivor of sex exploitation and a voice of modern day sex trafficking and teaching how they recruit modern day slaves into the sex trade. The trauma of what I went through was fierce, but I will fight to thrive as a sex traffic survivor telling my story and warning others how to avoid being targeted and reaching out to others who are still in the life so that together we can end this and free the hidden slaves.